Okay, hello everybody. This is uh, Helen and I teach at the Dorothy Benson Senior Services Center. And this is part three of our clay basket making class. And um, before I start, Marsha, did you want to show me your um, basket? Yeah. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna pin you. Yeah, let me show it you. Yeah. There's some parts I don't know what to do with. <laughs> Like, um, you're gonna have to hold it up. I will, I will, okay. I will, I will. Like, let's see. Uh, that, not that camera. Not this, this one, I can't do. This is uh, the oh, iPad. See, okay, so uh, back up a little bit, okay. So you just kind of randomly put some slabs on, uh, strips on there. Is that what you did? I did, and on the top and the bottom. Um, but you kind of needed to press it down a little bit. That's what I want to know. Yeah. Um, and also, what, what do I do with the ends of? You can blend you know, it. just press it into the one that it runs into. Yeah, I sliced it at an angle, and then I kind of okay. down in there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then make sure, is it too dry or? It's a little bit damp, but it's too dry to do anything. Okay, then split it and cover it really good and um, hopefully it'll soften back up. Okay. And I already put oil on it. On the, on the pan itself, okay. Yep. Okay. Good, and then uh, you want to kind of dampen the whole thing and cover it really good because you want it to adhere it to itself. Cover it plastic, not not fabric. Okay, you want it to have like a, a steam bath in there. Okay, is that yes. is, that, is that all you're going to show me? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you're on your way. Yeah, cover it real tight, let it, you know, re-soften up again. Okay, that's great. All right, so um, today what I, I'm doing is I went ahead and rolled the coils out again, but I wove it a little bit differently. I'm not a weaver, so I, I probably don't know what I'm doing, but instead of going under and over, under and over, I went, uh, one, two rate, one, two, um, I guess it's one, two spacing. Yeah, I went over two, went under one, went over two, and then I staggered it. So we'll see how this goes. Now, this one, instead of making the basket just like this, I'm going to flatten it out, okay? Um, and then it'll fill in the little spaces, but I have to do this very, very carefully. I did spritz it, it is still soft and wet. So I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. I'm gonna flatten it out and that's going to make the um, <coughs> coils wider, all right? So I'm gently going to do that and, it's, and it, is, it does push the coils out more. Um, I have it on the stretchy fabric so it, it can move along with the clay, okay? So let's hope this works. These things are so delicate, you have to be so careful. Now, because the coils were pretty wet, they should stick to each other pretty good. Okay, and my coils were very thin, so it's not really flattening out. I, I don't have that much flattened out, but so it's not really filling in the spaces as much as I thought it would. And plus it's stretching out, so. Okay. So it's still a woven piece, but um, flat, <laughs> flat, yeah. Okay, now, instead of lifting this up, because this is stretchy fabric, it's probably going to move, uh, pull on the clay. Um, I'm going to flip it over on this mold, okay? 
if this was canvas, I could lay it down, you know, if it was woven fabric, I could lay it down, but then the fabric would um, crease up. So I have to kind of figure out how to flip it over. All right, so before I do that, I did put a coil and this is a um, this fired mold. Okay, I like to use the bits fire mold or the plaster mold. So I'm going to see if I can carefully. Okay, it's holding up still. That's. I'm going to use a rolling motion. All right, let's see what that did. Okay, that's pretty good. It kind of creased up here, so I have to gently. So the first first basket we you know we actually wove it right right uh, and we wove it on top on the mold itself and that was kind of tricky because you know we had oil on there and it kind of slipped and slide. Um, this one we're flipping it over and I can flip it over because I pressed it okay but it kind of makes a crease. Here we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, so that's kind of cool, isn't it? Now I'm going to trim off, um, where's my knife? I'm gonna trim off the edge. Knife, okay. What am I gonna do with all these baskets I made? Christmas. <laughs> I could put um, like, you know, a packet of uh, nuts and maybe cheese and make a little yep. basket, right? Dried fruit or something. So I'm going to carefully cut a trim off. Uh, put it on here. Okay, see, see how cool it looks when you flatten it out? Is that mm -hmm. The other side should be flat too. Okay, let me trim this now. Then after I trim this, I'm going to have to put a band over um, somewhere to hide the cut pieces. So this is not a deep um, basket, it's kind of shallow. My ends are kind of drying out already. So I will have to spritz it and moisten them back up. Now you have to be patient and go slow on this part or else you'll break off some of the coils, especially because the ends get kind of hard, dried out right away. Okay, now um, I need for that to stick real good. So I'm gonna go ahead and spritz it some more, get it to wet itself, wet really good. All right. Now these guys are too dry, so I have to put it back in the bag. Even though I've been spritzing it, they just dry out. Okay, and then I want a thin coil on the outside, but I might make a strip and um, see if it'll cover. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do here.
Okay, I'm gonna see if I can flatten this out. It's not exactly even. Thin. And I think I'm going to wet it down a little bit. And I don't like it being wonky, so she'll have to see if I can straighten it out a bit. Oops. Okay, I don't have enough to trim both sides. I'm just going to do one side. And then we need to bring this up a little bit. Okay, it's not perfect, but it'll be okay. And then let's see, I think I'm going to to overlap it just slightly. It just exactly, okay. And then I need to blend this in, so let me spritz it some more. Okay, I'm gonna have to um, press this a lot more because there's a lot of space here. Um, I'm actually going to take my paddle, see if this kind of sticks. Gently, gently, gently tap it. Okay, it's kind of rough here, um, but I can't, I might be able to do it this way, but I think I have to work on it once I can get it off of the mold. Um, and then I have this joint here, instead of blending it, I think I'll put a little button there. Make it super wet round ball, tiny little ball. And this is really good. I think I'm going to score it a little bit. And I will get a stamp. Okay, I'm going to score a little bit on here. I probably should have flattened this out first before I did that. Let's see if I can get it off. So Marcia, is your house full of stuff you made already? Yeah. <laughs> Just 
Yeah, you know, just stuff. It's filling up, right? Yep. Because it's hard for me to throw things away, too. Mm. Only when it comes to clay, I can throw everything else away. Um, and you can also, if you know, if you have like a container, you can put plants in there if you don't like, you know, want to use it as a, a functional piece. Okay, I put a little button there with a stamp. Do you see that? Okay, yeah. Yeah, just do. Now, this is gonna have to um, kind of stiffen up, but this bisquare is sucking up all the moisture, but I want this part to stay moist. So what I'm gonna have to do is cover it really go tightly with plastic, okay? Um, plastic. Yeah, I know I had plastic somewhere. Can you use plastic bags, you know, like from Publix and stuff and Whole Foods? Yeah, you can. Um, you have to pay attention. Do you want it to completely touch your clay piece so it's completely, you know, no, no, absolutely no drying out um, and it re-moisturizes itself? Or do you want to loosely put the plastic on so that it's kind of evaporating, you know? Yeah. I mean? So you have to like consider that. Um, I need a tight, tight seal on mine right now. And, uh, if you don't have any soft plastic, you can go to Home Depot and get those, you know, those really thin paint drop cloths plastic. Yeah. And then, then that way you get a ton of very soft plastic. So see how I completely sealed it? Yes. Now, because the bisquare is absorbing water, it's still going to dry a lot more than if, you, if I didn't have it on this mold, okay? But I want this part to be really, really moist, okay? Um, so this guy's gonna have to go and dry. Um, I don't have a foot on this one. Uh oh, maybe I better put a foot on this guy. All right, let's put a foot on it because otherwise, well, I don't know. You think I should put a foot on it? Okay, I'll put a foot. I answered my own question. My son always says that. You always ask questions and answer it yourself. Okay, we need feet on this guy. So I'm going to give it four feet. Just tiny little dots for feet, okay? Just to get it off of the counter. It's, it's really not a colander. It's really more like for putting- a basket. Yeah, for, you know, so that um, there's air circulation for the vegetables, you know, if I put like avocado or something in there, or even, I think you can even put grapes in there. So I'm gonna make little comb feet. And then once this gets set, then I can like kind of rub it on that fabric, canvas fabric, a board I have to, uh, you know, make sure it's all stable. Now I've got to decide where it's going to have to go. Um, and it's going to have to go where these little crosses are. So one there, I think, I think one goes here. It might all be crooked. Okay, and then uh, once again, I don't have any slip again, so. So I'm, I'm actually going to go buy more commercial cone six blades from Dabbins. I guess I have to call and pick it up. Um, I don't think I want this in a high fire. Oh, I can't because this is cone six uh, B mix. It'll melt. So I've run out of glaze. So, and I'm wondering what color I should do it. Um, you have to kind of keep in mind, you know, what, what color foods will be most likely in there and how, how it's going to. I don't think that's on right, am I? Okay, that's good enough. So, okay, so wait. Um... 
I forgot. You know, I don't want it to be gray, right? No. A light blue might be pretty. Um, oh, just... that's it. Is all Phoenix cone six? Phoenix, no, Phoenix is cone 10. Okay, it's B, you said B mix or Phoenix? Oh, I mean, I, I messed up. I meant B mix. B mix, there's two types. The ones at Benson are cone six. Okay, the oh, one at Chastain is cone 10, but you can fire that cone 10 and cone six. You can go down. You just yeah, you can go down, you just can't yeah. go up. Yeah, I don't think this is even. It's probably going to be slightly slanted, but that's okay. I'll fix it later. Okay, so now I've got those feet on there. Oh, they're pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let it go. That way. So see how easy this is? The hardest part was probably rolling out the coils. Okay, so we got that guy, right? All right. Now, should we try to make one like Susan did with those... Uh, circular coils. Yeah. I've never tried that, but we can try that. I think the idea is to keep it super wet. And door, let's see if I have anything to use. I'll do it as a demo thing, so I won't keep the actual piece, okay? Okay. So I won't be oiling this. Okay, so I guess we have to... Um, let's see. First, we need a bottom coil. And, and she has spirals? I think she had spirals. We did something like that at Benson, but we put a skin on it, remember? To hold all the coils together. No. <laughs> but I believe you. <laughs> you don't remember that? No. Okay. Now, when we do the coils, you kind of have to wet them because if you try to coil them after you roll them, um, they Great. might break on you. So, you know what? I don't have to do coils. I'll just do random squiggly designs. How's that? So this is a test piece. This is kind of fun and cool. It's kind of snake-like. Do you see that? <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is kind of fun. <laughs> And I think maybe I, I should keep this, huh? Um, let's see, that means I have to oil this. Okay, let me try that again. Oil. Okay, changed my mind. I think I'm gonna use my little tiny plaster mold. I need to make some more of these. Um, I don't have to oil this, okay? All right, it's all over again. So if you wanna make some bisque molds, you know, all you do is press out um, about a quarter inch thickness of clay inside of a bowl and let that dry and then fire that, then you'll have a nice mold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Any shape actually, it doesn't have to be round. Like my messed up dog dish. Yeah. It's crack, has a crack. Oh, bummers. So I'm going to do it. I think what it is is the coils have to touch each other and they have to be wet, okay? So okay. let's press that. I don't want to flatten it out. See if I can get away with that. So this is actually kind of interesting. Um, you never know what what kind of you know what what inspires you to do weird stuff. Okay. Oops. Well, oh, because of plaster mold, it's really sucking up the clay. Um, if you want to, if you know how to cast plaster. You can make a bunch of plaster molds easily. It's just that you really probably need to do it out the horse with a mask on. And I don't have an Never outdoors. mind. Well, you have an outdoors. Yeah. I don't, so. I could drag everything to Piedmont Park and do it out there in, in the public. Uh, and they'll say, what are you doing? 
I'm making plaster molds. Okay, I should have spritzed this because the, my plaster is super wet, I mean dry. Okay, so it'd be interesting if this sticks together. Um, if this was the paper clay that you fire, you know, not the one that air dry kind, it should stick. I haven't experimented with the paper clay, so I don't really know how it works. Oh, the plaster's dry, it's sticking real fast. I'm pressing the joints. This can be really delicate. You know, probably just touch it, hit it a little bit, and it probably comes apart after firing. I mean, it doesn't have to be squigglies like this, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it looks great. So far, I'll make a small one, so it could, it'll could be a test piece. I was also thinking that, um, you know, on that craft foam, it doesn't have to be a square tile. It could be a, any shape, you know what I mean? Especially if you can make a coaster, it could be a leaf shape, it could be a circle. Wow. I don't know if this is going to hold up, though. Since this is on plaster, I may take it off just to see how much it How I might try that. Oops. It's tedious work. You want to have as much contact going on as possible. And then um, if I glaze this, then the glaze will help hold it better too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm also wondering if um, the end should be tapered or not. Or if I, you know, the tapered ends maybe should overlap for extra security. How is your dog during the storm? She's okay with that. She's just afraid of everything else, like people, like me. Like She's afraid of you? She kind of is. I mean, I have to be very careful. I always have a very quiet voice and, and no sudden moves. She's much better than she used to be. Poor baby. Now I can pet her and all of that, as long as I just don't come quickly straight on or anything. I mean, she's not like deaf or anything, right? No, no, she was just neglected. She oh, never got this kind of attention. Well, she never got touchies. Right. right. I, don't I don't think, think she, she was abused, but I do think nobody ever really gave, gave her any attention. Mm -hmm. I have to go in five minutes for the physical therapist. Okay. For your knee again? 
I mean, your foot. Yeah, it's yeah, right. it's for my foot. Okay, so um, this is time consuming. Yeah, but it looks so cool. I don't know if this is gonna hold up. I think what I'm gonna have to do is rub these um, joints a little bit better because it's pretty delicate. Whew. And then after I do this, I might put a, a band around to, you know, kind of hold it, help hold it together better. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm not too sure about this. So if you use a, a, a mold like plaster mold, you don't olive oil, you don't use any oil on it. No, no, because um, the clay is not going to stick to the um, plaster or the bit. Right. Yeah. And it also sucks up the moisture. Yeah. Clay. Um, so you have to be careful. You don't have like a vertical um, side because it'll shrink a little bit faster. It'll dry a little bit faster, you know? Mm -hmm. but you don't want anything. See how this is a curve? Yeah. Okay, this might actually come out pretty good. Let's not give up yet. I was thinking, what else can you do besides these squiggly lines, you know? Those are cooler than coils. Well, these are coils. But, but they're, they're not like the, you know, planned, everyone the same coil. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard it's going to rain again. Oh, good. Joy. Thunderstorms. <laughs> and then in the Halloween, we'll have snow, right? Right. Seems like when my daughter was growing up, it rained every single Halloween. Yeah, it was either rain or snow. And like, I remember when my daughter was little, I would always uh, make sure she could wear sweatpants <laughs> underneath her costume because it just would snow, it'd be really cold. And it wouldn't be that cold until that day too. It was so right. Rude. Okay, if you need to go, um, I'll keep this and show you next week, okay? Okay, I'm gonna finish my, my basket that I'm weaving. Yeah, um, oh, you're weaving a basket right now? No, the one I'm working on, no, I put it wet. I put okay. it so it'll get wet. Yeah. Make sure it's really wet and soft again, all right? Yeah. Yeah, because it breaks so easily when I'm doing the the ends and all of that stuff. It has to be soft and wet. I still don't have this right. You know, the clay thing, wet, dry, how much, how not much. I just don't seem to get it really. Yeah, you kind of need to have an in-person class because it's hard to tell what's going on. Yeah, so you can go, this is, this is what I call wet. This is, well, know. it's wet when it sticks to you. <laughs> like yeah. Right, right now, my clay is sticking to me. Like my rolling pin did. Yeah. It sticks to my rolling pin today. Yeah, and it's wet. And All right. Got, okay. I'm going right. to go. Okay. I'll, see. I'll show you uh, what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so cool. I hope it I works. Hope it sits up. <laughs> You know, it might fall apart, but um, I'll try my best. But it'll look great before it falls apart, if it's going to do that. <laughs> we'll take a picture of it before it falls apart. How's that? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm wrapped in plastic, all my things. Yep, sealed it really good. All right, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. See you. Come on, Maisie. Let's go. Come on. Come on.
Okay. Okay, I'm rubbing everything so that hopefully they'll stick together. And then I'm going to wrap it very tightly in plastic and hopefully it stays wet enough that they'll start really sticking together better. Okay, let's hope that stays together. Um, Okay, we'll see how that works out and uh, let it dry very slowly. Okay. All right. Thank you.